This is Fijiman, and so Bill Nye has finally admitted that the images from the Webb telescope are photoshopped. And so this testimony is very important because it's coming from Bill Nye, who many admire and respect as a top scientist, as the mouthpiece of science. Even though when you do further research into Bill Nye, it's pretty sketchy as far as if he's an actual scientist or not. So I've done a little research on Bill Nye, and it looks like it's possible that his degrees might not really match up with his profession. Some people say he was like a mechanical engineer or something or something else. I'm not exactly sure exactly what type of degrees he has, but it sounds like he's more of an actor than a scientist, but he's really respected in the scientific community as a scientist and everything he says is golden to a lot of people. So now this will end the debate about whether the images of the Webb telescope are real or not, because now that Bill Nye is saying it, the people that listen to every word he says now cannot challenge it anymore. They're going to have to side with us who have been telling them, telling everyone for a long time that the images from NASA are not real. And so you tell people that and a lot of people, they don't want to believe it, you know, but now with Bill Nye saying it, they're going to have to believe it. So I'm going to play a clip in a little bit about what Bill Nye said, but he basically was trying to explain the images of the Webb telescope without saying the word Photoshop, but he used words like, well, basically he was saying the instruments detect infrared wavelengths and heat signatures and stuff like that. And the instrument, which is the Webb telescope, is able to pick all that data up and then they send it to the NASA scientists who generate images based on the data. So like the far stars and galaxies, they'll depict as red and the closer the galaxy or the star they'll depict as blue so these are the types of um things that he was saying as to well to avoid saying the word photoshop but then the narrator of wired comes on and breaks down for the audience what bill nye was saying and the narrator of wired said yeah so basically bill nye is saying that the images are photoshopped look i'm gonna play the clip right here so they'll use red light for that. The near objects are closer to the color of chosen for the central object in this image. So those things that are about the same distance are blue. So a big takeaway is that these images are enhanced, color coded, basically photoshopped by NASA artists based on infrared data. But what OK, there you have it. So look. Like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the comment section and description box and everything's covered in the first minute in 10 seconds or so. So if you want to share the actual video with friends and family so they can see for themselves, it's not coming from, you know, the, the theorists out here when we're saying these images aren't real. No, it's actually coming from Bill Nye. So you're going to want to definitely share this with the um, believers who think we're just making stuff up. And hopefully a lot of these truth channels, well, so-called truth channels out here that have been dissecting these web images. I'm not even going to really mention their names anymore, but we know who they are. And um, basically, they've been that dissecting these images from the web telescope. They need to hear this stuff. Very, It's very important that they hear this stuff and see the evidence that those pictures are not real. And so before I get out of here, let's cover a couple more things that was said in the video that Bill Nye was in. So the, the, the total video was about six minutes or so, and they covered a couple of other things that kind of caught my attention. And I've heard this theory before, but Bill Nye was pretty much saying that humans are made out of stardust, out of stars that had exploded. And somehow humans are made out of this material, he's trying to say. And he says it in a way where it's almost like he's trying to say this is definitely true. It, it's not like he was saying this is his theory or anything. It is kind of weird that, you know, because because people really listen to this guy. And so now I see that 
this whole thing with the scientific community and these people, they're really pretty much a religion because for them to come out and say such a bold statement like that, I mean, where's the evidence to back that up? You know, that, that humans are made out of stardust because according to the science, um, the closest star is like trillions of miles away. So how would they know what stars are made of, you know? Well, oh yeah, that's right. They say the sun's a star too. So really it's about what 93 million miles away would be the closest star. But really, even then, how do they know what the sun's actually made of? They can guess, but no, they haven't been to the sun to physically um, confirm what their hypothesis is. They they can use their formulas and whatever ways they go about trying to make such a claim, but they really don't know until they actually go up to the sun and you know, that's that's the only real way to confirm anything they've been saying. But yeah, humans are made out of stardust is what this guy is saying. I mean, that just shows how far they take this stuff. Plus, another thing that Bill tried to say was, like, he was saying, basically, the stars are proof that there's life out there, which is pretty much why I believe the heliocentric motto has been put into the minds of so many people is because they want to use that they want to say like oh of course there's life out there in outer space because look at all these stars that, that and then some of these stars are going to be solar systems just like our sun and our alleged solar system so they're saying the chances are of course there's life out there because look how many billions of stars there are so what's the chance of there not being life really they're trying to say so I mean, that seems to be the main uh, goal of this whole theory. That's one of the main goals is to make an excuse for the fallen ones if they start to arrive one day. Some unexplained uh, beings, if, if they start to arrive in the presence of mankind, scientists will be able to explain them away as uh, from another solar system somewhere out there. You know, because that way they can continue to refuse to acknowledge the Bible or any type of religious belief. They, that's what they want to be able to do is make an excuse for beings eventually to appear without having to say, well, these are the fallen ones or this proves re uh, religion or Christianity or anything like that. They want to be able to say, no, it's just a simple being from another galaxy you know so that's one of the main reasons why um they come up with this whole uh, heliocentric theory is to it sounds like they want to set the stage to be able to explain away uh any type of beings that might want to arrive if they have plans to go that far we'll have to see but there's talks of an antichrist and all types of uh, possible beings that might show up later so this will explain that away for them. And so that's about it for today. So make sure you check out the link in the comment section in the description box. So you can see what Bill Nye has to say about how the images from the Webb telescope are not real. They're actually photoshopped. Like I said, he tries to say it in a way and, and avoid saying that word Photoshop. But as you just heard, that's pretty much what he was saying. So. It is what he was saying, basically. So check it out. Let me know what you all think. I'm going to leave some links for you all so you can uh, check the comment section description box for links to my other channels and my social media and much more. And if you would like to support this channel, you can become a member for as little as a dollar or I'll leave some links if you want to sign up to my Patreon page or anything like that. I also have a PayPal link. Um, you can... Uh, contribute as little as a dollar if you want to help keep Feed Your Mind online. Your support's going to help me put out much more documentary style videos. These videos right here are, I call are podcast style videos, but my documentary style videos have lots of visuals and they're more movie like. So if you want to get a bunch of those out, if you want to help me get those out, please support the channel so I can um, spend the time to do that because YouTube does not really, it's not really worth the time. That, that it takes to make those videos um, on this platform anymore, the way they hide these types of videos, well, at least on my channel. So, 
your support will help me get those videos out. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all, um, thank you to all the patrons out there and all the members and all that. So thanks for helping keep this channel online. That's about it for today. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.